Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Uh, a new unboxing video for you guys today. So hopefully this will be my next project that I'm wanting to do. Um, it's the Beastman Gorgon slash Cygore model. Um, I've had this box for like it must be nearly a year and a half now, and I like I have opened and I've looked at the sprue, and that's pretty much it. Um, and it's just it's been I've had it for too long, and it's too nice of a looking model to leave there and not get done so I'm um, so I said I'll do an unboxing on it today just to get a look at the insides and see what the parts are like you know and then eventually I'll have to get around to it sooner or later so you can make two different types from this and it looks like there is a lot of uh, parts with this and um, you know on the front you had you had the guy with the four arms or the two arms and the two arms with kind of claws on him and then the kind of you know your beast man type of face on it and the horns and everything so I'm um, and then on the back you get kind of a cyclops looking guy with just the two arms and he's carrying a big rock um, I don't know what like a hard stone or something like that it must be for um, the beastman I'm not too familiar with him um, as for it goes making which one I really don't know I'm not mad on the forearms or the claws but I like that head um, I kind of like, you know, I like a bit of this on the way he's carrying the rock over its head, but I'm not too mad on the Cyclops head itself. So, um, you know, as for now, I'm not too sure which one I'd make. Um, I think I'd just rather have a look at the bits, take them all off and have a proper look before I make a decision. So there's two sprues, in, two pretty big sprues, and you have your instruction booklet. And I already had the, the base out. Um, which is, I can remember the size of it, it's 50 by 100 millimeter. So, um, it's a bit small, I thought it might have been a bit bigger. But um, I'd imagine like, the feet just kind of fit snugly on it from like, corner to corner. Um, yeah, you can kind of see it there. Like the feet go from the corner to corner, so it takes up like the whole base. I like to kind of build it up. Um, your instruction booklet which I haven't looked through at all so maybe this will give you an idea of and um, you know you can mix different parts and um, I'm not going to spend too long on that because I just want to go straight into looking at the bits so let's have a look at this first brew I think so we'll start with this half let's have a look Yeah, so there we go. So you get your two hands. There is there's two hands there, and just by looking at the sprue on the other side, there's another set of hands. Um, that's just on this one anyway. Um, and there's like two parts of a rock that you see on the front of it. He's carrying them at the hip. And um, just get more arms there. Um, and there's the hand carrying um a statue. Oh, there's the two parts that are right next to it. So um, that's a pretty cool, awesome bit. It's a pity that the hand is stuck on it. It would have been a nice little statue to have. It's just like the Garden of Moor one. But um, it's a pretty cool part to have. Um, I might use that one. You have like the necklace of skulls. Let's zoom a little too far. Which is always kind of nice, nice little detail to add on to them. Very Beastman esque. Um, the Beastmen have pretty cool models, it's just a pity you don't see them enough anymore, they're not as that good. Um, you get a bell that he gets to carry around which is pretty cool, a nice little bit there. I think one of the most exciting parts about looking at these big multi part kits, just small arms along here, is like the spare parts that you can have left over, which is what I always enjoy. Um, yeah, so just have iron parts there, not too special, this is the second half of the sprue where we're getting looking at um, oh that's one of the claws, it's kind of like the crab claw he has so um, it's much nicer looking looking at the bit here than it is in the picture so maybe that might be something that I'll add on, this must be yes the other half of it and then you have the big kind of, I'm just going to call it a hard stone I don't actually know if it is or not but it has like all these like magical kind of designs and spirals on it 
um, and there's no hand hands stuck to it so if you want to take that off there is a bit of a handprint on the top um, but if you're wanting to just use this as a separate piece altogether for something else um, you could there's no, you don't have to like cut anything off or trim anything which is pretty nice and just another set of hands there two closed fists and then just more kind of ropes with skulls and hanging down over it um, just a lot of cool detail stuff to add on to the guy um, and then I don't know what the spiky part is for these look like all parts that you can put on his legs so just have to take a look at the box here yeah and his arms and everything that type of stuff um, another set of hands so that's one three sets of hands and a set of claws so you're getting like four all together to choose from which is pretty decent um, this is a cool little piece and if I put that down and get it proper zoom it's a very nice little detailed piece I'm just I'm just trying to look on the box to see what it's for it's, it's, I imagine it goes over the arms, the forearms or maybe even the legs and there's a leg part with a skeleton part on it um, I can't really see on the box but I'd imagine it goes over the forearm or something like that um, zoom back a little bit. and I'd imagine with the same for these as well just really well detailed you have like your bone or tusks or whatever colour you want to paint them what way you want to do it um, and this kind of looks like it could have been part of a shield or a little bag actually what's that and if we zoom in I can see it and that was always tied up anyway so that's the first sprue just a lot of um, iron bits you have your stone a lot of the hands and um, so I'd imagine on this sprue then we're going to see like the heads the main body part and the legs so um let's start up on this corner let's have a look all right so um there's the front cloth I actually don't even know if he has a back cloth. I only noticed now that he actually has a tail on one of them, so I don't know if just if the tail has to go on uh, both versions. But this cloth is pretty cool. You know, like you have the big skull, you have the small skulls, a lot of um, detail to go on into it, and it looks really cool. You get his hoofs there, and he's just about to step on a skull and crush it there in one of them. Um, and then the two bits above here are his back and his stomach. So there's his back, a lot of fur on it, which you don't really get to see on the box. You don't get to see his back. Just by looking at it here, you can see some of the spikes, you know, just like you see him later on, on the other side of the sprue. Um, they got pretty big on the back. So, um, you know, it's nicely shaped, it looks pretty cool. Um, the, the stomach looks like he has a bit of a bear gut. He has like the six pack thing type of going on. But it's kind of like a bit of a bear gut. But, um, it's pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, I'd imagine. We're trying to see what this piece is for. There's a big massive horn on it, so I'd imagine maybe it's for his head. It's just a single horn coming up. So I'm not too sure. I can't see on the box. Um, and then, oh here, and then we get a look at. Cyclops head. Now this Cyclops head looks a lot nicer now looking at it in the sprue with. Um, I think the eye is a little bit small just by looking at the picture on the box but in you know this looking at it here unpainted and everything it looks I like this actually maybe the maybe the Cyclops uh, head is the way to go actually and then the other little bits next to the head oh and there I get a picture there you go they look like skulls with bits of grass behind them, which you don't see on the box either. So I'd imagine they're just like nice little cool bits you can add to the extra, or add to the bottom of the base, which you don't see in the box. With so it's a nice little finder, or maybe it's for the skulls on his back. Maybe that's for not grass. Um. Ah, but anyway, they're nice anyway. Just what, what got me thinking about that was I spotted. Where was I? Oh yeah, I spotted 
and the fire on the other side of the sprue. So here we get the big massive rack, the horns for the front of them, which is really well detailed. And um, you know, a lot of work gone into it. Pretty cool. I think the that big massive. Fire. There's another uh, big rack of horns to go on themselves. Um, but the this one's not too bad. And um, I'll just fix the zoom a bit. So there you have like the two sets of legs. Or a set of legs, sorry, not two sets of legs. Um, and there you see that he had a skeleton part there. If I'll zoom in. Which is kind of tied around his shin. Which is pretty cool. So you have like a mixture of a lot of skin and a bit of fur. And then it's like bits of rope of skulls and stones and everything tied to it. And... Um, which is pretty cool. You get your more fur bits down on the bottom then. And then here on this kind of the bottom right corner is a lot of the back pieces. You'll get your um your back with the kind of the spiky bit going up along it. Um a lot of detailed stuff in it that I didn't really notice on the box. Um like there's skulls and skeletons stuck in it and everything there. There's like um like a spear sticking out from it, which is pretty cool. You can kind of see in the picture now that I look at it. Um, and I'm just hitting the camera there. Is. Um, but uh, it's pretty nice. And then you just have like, oh, that must be the tail then. By the looks of it, but you have your skull tied to it. Uh, a lot of tribal signs, uh, you know, like not tribal signs, but you know, like a lot of skulls hanging around, a lot of um. Like it's very beastman esque, which is pretty cool. Like it's not, um, just like a like a a giant version of a of a or a beastman version of a giant. It's like a proper beastman big kit. Now this is the other rack of horns. I'll turn on this way to get a look at the front of it, and the right way up. Which and it, which I only noticed that was pretty cool. It looks like a little chaos symbol hanging over. Yeah, you have lots of skulls and bandages and ropes and everything, which is really nice. That's just the rack I think I'll go for. Um, and then next to that, you have another big set, which is right there. Which is, it's nearly, it's, it's just as big, just not as tall. The one goes up further with the extra skull on the top, where this one's kind of like a little bit thicker near the top. Um, bought really nice and bought ways. And then the very last piece. Or pieces make up the skull. I was gonna say skull, the head, but you get your other head here, which is really nicely detailed, and um, and then up this side you get like the jaw pieces, which make it look pretty ferocious. And then you get this really nice little skeleton pieces you can have dangling over his legs. So um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Two big sprues, a lot of details on it. Um, definitely going to be a lot of bits left over, like a lot of spare arm bits, which you know they can come in handy whenever you need them. Um, as for kind of other spare bits, like you have the skeleton, wherever he is, that guy there, the little skeleton dangling from his arm. Um, from his waist, you can use him for other parts. And uh, you could be left with like this hard stone, which is pretty cool. And um, and even if you didn't use the statue, I'm sure you could um like cut off the hand and kind of green stuff around it if you wanted to, if you could. Um, it's a pretty cool little statue to use. Very, very very much like the one from the Garden of War. And it's like you have like a bell here which might fit in with a scaven kit if you mix and match and stuff, you know, to have the screaming bell. Um so yeah, so that's it. That's the Beastman Gargon slash uh Saigor. I honestly don't know the difference you know because I don't know much about the Beastman rules. But a uh, very nice looking kit. I'm hoping to try and get around to making it soon. The only thing for definite is I don't think I'm gonna add the tail and just looking at it from here. Um looks like something that I might leave out. I don't like the bell on it. Um I'm too sure, but I'll have to go through the instruction booklet. It's pretty you know, it's not thin, it's a little bit thick. There's definitely lots of stuff to go through. 
um, a lot of dry fitting with blue tack and everything so um, so yeah keep an eye out for when I do this which I'm hoping it should be soon I think I might start clipping bits off now and having a look at it so um, let me know what you guys think uh, it's an awesome kit by the look of it and it's a pity you don't see this enough um, and uh, yeah I've had it long enough so it's about time I actually got started on that I actually got this as a Christmas present not Christmas gone the Christmas before so it's been up in the attic for a while so uh, thanks for watching make sure to leave a comment hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next video thanks for watching